Hey, Trinity Lutheran, great to be with you again this afternoon. Uh, excitement is growing here at Trinity as we get closer and closer to school beginning again. Teachers are gonna be back in the building for meetings starting on August 1st. And like I said, the excitement is growing. Joke before we go too far. What do you call a dinosaur who is nervous all the time? Mm, you call him a nervous Rex. <laughs> all right. Hey, we've got our theme picked out for this upcoming year. We're gonna stick with let's go, but there's three new words to go with that. And those words are know, grow, and sow. So we want people, we want our students to know a lot about God and about his world. And we want them to grow in their faith and then go and sow the word, go and share it with others. And that's based on Colossians 1, verses 9 and 10. We'll talk about that a lot in this upcoming year. Today, as we, uh, as I have an opportunity to chat with you, several really important things, ways that you can help. First, please be the voice of Trinity out in our community. Word of mouth is our very best advertising. If you hear someone, questioning their child's education, let them know, hey, my child goes to Trinity and we have a great education there and a great experience. So all you really need to do is encourage them to give us a call. Have them call and ask for Jennifer Wyaneth and Jennifer will take it from there in getting things scheduled for them to come in. Also, very soon, we're going to be reposting some videos that were made as part of our Let's Go campaign this past year that really talk about our school. We'd encourage you to share those on Facebook so they get lots of views uh, so that people know what is distinctive about education here at Trinity. Second way you can help. We also need word of mouth related to our staffing needs. First, let's talk about the needs. And that is, first, we need a preschool teacher still, full time. We also need paraprofessionals for our preschool program, and we also need Shining Stars workers. All of these are very important positions, very much needed. Um, so if you know someone who is a teacher and would love to teach preschool, have them contact us, have them contact me, uh, or uh, Lori Kilberg, and we would love to chat with them, get, uh, get a resume and move things along in terms of getting them hired. Uh, paraprofessionals, uh, an opportunity for you to work with our preschool kiddos and Shining Stars workers, also very critical because, because we're limited with the number of staff we have, we're really full in that program and we can't take any more kids and right now that's meant that we have lost some students because we have families who need that service. Let me finally say for our current parents, if you're looking for a part-time job, our pay has increased significantly uh, in the, going into this next year. And also you do get a discount on tuition. So if that's something that interests you, please uh, contact us if you know somebody else who may be interested, please pass that along. Be that word of mouth. Uh, finally, with staffing, the other thing is we have some blessings to report. Very happy to report that Ashton Horn will be joining our staff as our art teacher and fifth grade teacher. Look forward to her joining us. Ashton has a lot of great experience. She speaks five languages um, and she's most recently served as a teacher in China for four years. So she's gonna bring a lot to our staff. We really look forward to that. Again, she'll be teaching art part-time and fifth grade part-time. That fifth grade will free up uh, Miss Meyer to become our classroom music teacher part-time. So we're very excited about that. Uh, Miss Meyer has a lot of experience doing that and that's only gonna raise the bar of excellence for our music program. Also, uh, Luke Beecham has been hired as our middle school social studies teacher. Luke also has some interesting experiences in his life. Um, his dad was military and he was born in Germany and then lived many years in Belgium 
before coming back to the United States and to the state of Iowa. So we're excited about having Luke join us as well. Also in, on the good news front, a gaga ball pit is coming to Trinity. Things are moving along, uh, things are being ordered. We're hoping, the committee working on that, hopes that that will all be installed and ready to go when school begins. We have had several people come forward and say, you know, if you do that, I'd be willing to make a donation to make that happen. If that's true of you, please contact the school office or just send in your a check with, uh, with clear directions that it's for the Gaga Ball Pit and we would welcome that donation. Uh, we've had some materials donated, uh, but we still have a, a total cost of about $2,600. So um, if you're able to help, that would be a blessing. You know what? Living under and in God's word and in his rich grace, it's gonna be a great year. I hope you're getting as excited as we are. See you later.